Hello LEGO fans, Jarvbricks here with another update. Today I'm going to be showing you my LEGO Friends Central Perk mock. If you followed my hauls, you'll see that um, I bought that set a few weeks back. Um, but I've also, at the beginning of the year, bought the uh, Bookshop modular. I've dismantled that and I'm going to be integrating the two. I've also, amongst those hauls, been collecting some Nugget bricks from Bricklink and a few extra windows um, from the Lego Friends Central Perk set. And I'm going to show you now what I've done. So let's get it on the table. So here it is at first glance, made it on a 32 by 32 base plate. So I'm gonna start by showing you the insides. So I'm going to try and get all of the angles so you can see it properly. This was just a the, one of the pillars that come with it and I just wanted that to be a bit of a support and it also looks good in the middle of the coffee shop. So the surface desk is same as it was in the other set. I just took off the little arrow to say that the service is over there otherwise they will be heading that way. So that's all exactly the same. I've just changed the color of the um, background wall. Same with the um, little sign there. Couch with a little table there. Somewhere to hang up their coats and umbrellas. And that at the end is the lift, which takes you to the next floor. Uh, no stairs, it's an imaginary lift. You've just got to pretend like these people are alive. So, yep, going around um, the door, just um, a few flowers there. A couch, chair, sofa. Just changed the trim of the table because it is green in the official set and I've just made it red because it was all well, the floor's green so I didn't want to tile the inside. I'm not a huge fan of tiling the inside I think it's me being tight I just think it's quite expensive to do some, some, something like that where you're tiling all of the inside where you only get to see it uh, when you open it up when it gets in the city you rarely open it again so I tend not to tile any of the insides therefore I changed the trim of the table so it didn't clash with the floor and then coming round we're back to the beginning okay now let me show you the next floor we come out of the lift and yes it is called a lift because it lifts you to the next floor so put a little piano near the door out of the way lamp little book stand which is from the bookshop plant there uh, the little couch which is also from the bookshop as is the fish tank they were in the apartment above. And going around to the kitchen. It's quite bland, this wall. So I uh, didn't have that many kitchen stuff. I need to actually buy some uh, Lego Friends, not the Lego Friends from here, but the actual brand Lego Friends to get some more internal stuff. They are very good for that. And coming around, I'm going to have to lift the camera up to see the bedroom. So there's the bed from the bookshop. That, that is a nightstand from the uh, Green Grocers creator set from a few years ago. Uh, that is a, a chair, I think it was from the uh, Grand Hotel from the Lego Friends a few years back. Right, we're back on the tripod, so hopefully no more shaking. And that's it on the inside. So just looking at, at the back here, so the wall's a bit of a mess because of all of the uh, hodgepodge of equipment that's um, in the insides, but there you go. You're not gonna see it that much uh, with the uh, bins and cats at the back as well. Right, let me put the roof on. So the roof design here is similar to the design on the corner garage modular, just a slight tweak to make the design my own. I uh, really did like the roof design on that so I wanted to continue it and on this side I've just 
made it that little bit smaller. Here's just three jumpers with a six by one tile on it, just to give it a little depth and um, feature on the roof there. The corner, uh, this corner piece here, this curved piece, it's the only one I had. I'd like to have put one up here, uh, but I didn't want to wait for a brickling order for one piece. So I used these um, one by two tiles with the modified edge so it's curved so you can make those curved angles with it and i've just continued the color between the window white and the um, gray in between uh, not 100 percent convinced with it but that'll do for now uh, i'd like to it to be sticking out a little bit more um, maybe if i did have another one of these but I didn't so anyway and that's it I use these um, profile bricks in the nugget color just to give it that little bit of uh, depth and features I really love those pieces they're probably one of my favorite I just wish they did them in, in more colors and hopefully in time uh, we will have that uh, so yeah that's it now let me take you down to floor level so as you know from uh, one of the hauls that I did from Bricklink, I bought two extra windows and I think it looks much better having the two windows like that with the Central Perks sticker in each. Uh, if I'd only had one, it would have had to look very different, but I really like that shop design. Continued the um, red white awning on the top. Um, I thought about using a um, four by one brick coming out to here, but it didn't quite have the same effect. So I continued using the one that came with the, the set. Using one of those corner windows, uh, sorry, it's corner doors there with the, the arched um, green awning there. Um, one thing I have found is some of the windows and the bricks are slightly different colors to the ones that came with the Lego Friends set. And you can see one here. I think this was Lego, this, this came with the Lego Friends uh, idea set, but that one, I can't think what that came with. I think it was the garage on the corner garage. Um, and you can see the, the color difference between the two. Um, you know, these are slightly colored, different color to that. And it's a little bit annoying. I think having it under the spotlight now makes it stand out more than it should. Um, but when it's in the city, you don't notice it as much, but I found it a little bit annoying, to be honest, having those slight variation in colors. Here, you've just got a little area to sit outside. Uh, you've got another window here. Uh, I wanted to put a drain pipe, just give it that little bit extra detail. All uh, six of them are on the outside. So I thought if I lock them inside, you'll never see them again. Um, but having them sit outside, uh, you're able to see them and enjoy it. And that's it. That is my Lego Friends mock. Now I'm going to put it in the city and see what you think about it there. So here it is next to the town hall and next to the flower shop and um, I think it looks nice in its new home I think it fits in it's, uh, I like having different buildings at different heights next to each other it gives it more of a realistic feel now let me just take the camera off the uh, tripod and I'll give you a wobbly cam view okay I'll try and get it from a few different angles doesn't look great from that angle. Maybe uh, having it next to the town hall isn't the best idea. Kind of completely hides that corner, but for now it can stay, but uh, might change it in the near future. Um, might change it with the fire station that's behind and put the fire station here I don't know that's it so thank you for watching let me know uh, what you think of this uh, Lego friends central perk mock 
and when I've got uh, something else to update you with I will here's a quick uh, run over my city so thank you for watching and I will be back soon goodbye